Okay, hello. Right, this is the second tutorial I'm making for a petite computer. And I'm going to be doing a few things today. But, yeah, um, all of it are very, very simple. This should not be very long for a computer. The next video will actually cover more fun things. So, if you're not interested, if you already know how to make a beep and put in colors and stuff, then just skip right over this. But, but um, you know, yes, as I said, we're going to be doing things like making a few little beeps, putting in some color, and we're going to make a loop. And the weight command is also pretty fun. It makes things look a little more. I know I just like it, but uh, for simple things. So let's see. And for those of you who saw the last video, I, it would probably be nice. It would be good if you could load up the other program if you saved it. So some of you might have been like just typing it as I went over. I went through the video. T U T. There you go. Load program. Touch. We're gonna know it's gonna it. Alright. Go to edit. Okay, so I want to make it beep after we give it the input. So if I want to do that, I would just hold on, I have to go all the way over here so I can um get to the second line. Well it's going to be the second line. There we go. Okay, now I want it, I just want it to beep as soon as I give it my name. So we do beep. Simple enough, right? You can also make it do, you know, uh, different kinds of beeps. I think it goes up to uh, 14. I'm not sure. It's somewhere around there. You know, you could just put in beep and it'll do it, but it's like 1 through 14, like I said. I'm just going to do 3 to be a little random. And if I run that, it will do... What is your name? I'm just going to say my name is you. So, you know, beeps and say, okay, you. Right, that works. And now... If we wanted to, uh, wait, uh, wait, actually the wait command wouldn't really work here, so, but, um, say so if I wanted it to wait before, uh, you know, let's do color first, since I could probably find it more, okay, we'll do, we'll do wait last, because I could probably make it look, you know, make a little more sense if we do wait last, alright, so, hold on, where's the little thingy, there's a little thingy. All right now, if we want color, color is also very simple. So I'm gonna just gonna make it start out with a new color. So I'm gonna make that the second line of code now. Go up one, and just type in color, and then the ID. I think this also goes up, you know, to the teens or something. Actually, no, beep might go. I think you might have gotten color and beep mixed. I know color definitely goes up to the teens, and beep goes. Um, I think it might it might be the same thing. It might be much higher. I don't know. So I'm just gonna do color uh, six. Now when I run that, it makes yes. My name is you. It beeps. See, and I don't know if my iPad camera really shows it, but it's like a pinkish color. You know, I'll just I'll do a different color real quick. Finally, I don't have to move the thing. Let's just do three, like this beep. Let's do you? Oh wait, run it. <laughs> run the program. Uh, see now it's it's yellow. And then it's going to make the whole program yellow. And if you want to rever revert back to white, white is zero. See, alright, and that's simple. Now, another thing that's actually pretty useful I'm going to tell you about now is how to make it loop. So once finished, um, you're, this is a very new command that's going to be very helpful to you. We're going to use go to. Go to can be used for more things than just looping. Uh, it'll tell it to go to go to a certain line, and you do that. Or just you say go to at start but if I r ran it now it would say something I don't I forget exactly what it says but it's okay it's gonna say there is no at start here so what we do is we go back up to we can skip the color part I'm just gonna do it though hold on ah, I did it wrong whoopsies I didn't just put the line in wrong okay so it would be that we would make um the, this area right here at start there now, whenever you put in your, or, or when it, when it, whenever it printed, it would just go right, go back right to the start. And you could do it all, you, you know, do the program all over again. Now, I'm gonna put in at wait. I'm not gonna run it just to show you like I've been doing every the time. I'll show you both wait and looping and the same thing. And you know, go to can be used for other things. Uh, like in the next video, I'll just I'll demonstrate another very useful thing of it because in the, the next video, I plan on teaching you how to, how to make a calculator, which is gonna be pretty fun. Now we would just go. I'm going to put in wait right here. So, wait. 
Now what this is going to do is it's going to wait for the time we the time we define, and just so before it goes back to the start, it'll wait a little bit. So, and it goes by something like frames. I think it's called in 60, 60 frames. I think. <laughs> Don't don't quote me on the name. I'm not really sure what it's called. This is called 60 units. This everything is a unit. So 60 would be one second. And I'm just gonna make it 120. So that's two seconds. I don't know who came up with those values. <laughs> so 120 is two seconds. And then just so, just a second, I'm gonna make it beep when it goes back. So what you'll know, but you know when it goes back when it beeps. Just do beep three again. Now let's run. See, the um, run is still yellow. If you just want to change the console back, you just do color zero. It'll be white again. There you go. So what is your name? Oh, right. I put the ads. I think the ads start thing. I just get the color. Oh, you know how to do color. Let's just skip over that. My name is M. K M. And it just goes back. Stop it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I made a white. Wow. I forgot to change the color. I'm an idiot. But, all right. That's it. That's it's it. See, very simple. Can be fun to play with. You can make even the most boring Hello World program into something a little more appetizing. So yeah, that's that's today's video. Goodbye.